up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Acura Integra, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Acura in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because my very first car was a 2003 Acura RSX also known as the DC5 Integra for all you JDM nerds like myself out there. So, of course, I also love the Acura brought back the Integra name. You also get two years or 24,000 miles complimentary maintenance with this thing as well, which is also a good thing. So ultimately, in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so there will be several different trim levels for the 2023 integra first one being the base setup starting at $31,300 a spec for $33,300 a spec with technology cvt for $36,300 and lastly the a spec with technology six speed manual also going for $36,300 but regardless of which trim level that you go with power plant on the integra is going to be the same powering the beast is a 1.5 liter turbocharged and line four cylinder putting out 200 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 192 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm that power is going to be sent to the front wheels through a cvt with paddle shifters which actually is the setup that we have today or there is a six-speed manual also available so if you've ever driven the new honda civic si that is essentially what that is going to feel like but zero to 60 time is going to differ depending upon the transmission setup that you go with so if you were to go with that six-speed manual motor trend puts it at 7.7 seconds if you were to go with the cvt road and track puts it at 7.1 seconds so of course substantially quicker for the cvt transmission but mpg numbers then coming in at 30 in the city 37 on the highway for the base 29 city 36 highway for the a spec and then 26 city 36 highway for the a spec six speed manual transmission but taking premium unleaded fuel but so then before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in our integra i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes and so there's a dynamic mode toggle switch located just to the left of the shifter that will give you different drive modes including comfort normal sport and then if you were to go with the a spec with technology you're also going to get an individual driving mode as well which is pretty cool ultimately adjusting things like the shift points throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right we are in full manual shift mode here just slid the shifter all the way to the back we're also in sport driving mode so let's test out the paddle shifters here we go wow they're quick all right keep in mind this is a cvt so i technically it's not real shifting it's just simulated shifting but having said that that was fine the paddle shifters are actually very quick and it's simulated an automatic pretty darn well as well because again with the cvt it's kind of just like one solid gear kind of a setup but it actually simulated an automatic when i was shifting through the gears pretty darn good so i don't mind the paddle shifters because again they are pretty darn quick so i like them i like them but anyways now having got that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find one more straightaway and let's put the acceleration here to the test with the uh integra having full control and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right still in sport driving mode here in three two one go you can hear it's a cvt that's actually that is not bad that is definitely not bad you're 100 not going to have any issues merging onto the highway slight bit of turbo lag at the very beginning because this is a turbocharged four-cylinder after all but Having said that, even the turbo lag wasn't really all that bad. It was noticeable a little bit, but that acceleration is definitely plenty fun. So not going to have any issues with that. I can imagine you will probably get a little more driving enjoyment with the six-speed manual if you're into six-speed manuals. But having said that, even the CVT, it's plenty fine. So definitely did not mind that whatsoever. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.3-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.1-inch solid rear disc as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at 119 feet as far as braking fuel goes 
it's brilliant it's brilliant and really whenever i say this number anything in the one teens is sports sedan good once you get into the 120s then you're just typical sedan good and if you're in the 130s you're probably driving an suv so 119 feet is plenty respectable braking feel definitely leans on the firmer side of things so i love the braking feel on the integra so definitely no issues there the touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars but the very best part about the suspension on the integra here is if you were to go with that a spec with technology package you will also get an adaptive damping suspension and so if you guys watch my videos you know i always harp on this this one i always like to recommend because essentially what that is is it monitors each shock absorber individually not only adjusting to the road imperfections giving you a smoother ride but it's also going to tighten up that suspension during heavy cornering really giving you the best of both worlds so if you like driving dynamics that is definitely something i would recommend and we do have the a spec with technology with us here today so i can tell you that the ride quality is pretty darn good so absorbing pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely i've had no issues whatsoever but really my favorite part one of my favorite parts about the driving dynamics and the new integra here is the steering sensitivity the steering feel is weighted so much on the heavier side of things let me turn off this turn signal real quick so it doesn't annoy you guys but it's such a heavy steering feel it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go and quite honestly i wasn't expecting a steering feel like we have here in the new Integra. And like I said, and that's even in the comfort driving mode. If I would have put it in sport like I just did, it's an even heavier steering feel. So it's a wonderful steering feel that I 100% did not expect in the Integra. So huge fan of that. Acura did an amazing job with the steering feel. And honestly, the handling feels absolutely wonderful as well. I'll take you guys through some back roads back here because the handling is incredible. The steering feel is incredible. That is perhaps my favorite part so far about the new Integra here. So well done, Acura. But anyways, touching on cabin noise, I'm going 43 miles per hour-ish right now. There isn't a whole lot of wind noise. There isn't a whole lot of road noise. You do get a little bit of engine noise, which is a good thing in my particular opinion. So I like hearing the engine. So cabin noise, honestly, it's perfectly fine for me. The touching on visibility, this basically looks like my old Acura RSX. You got that kind of hatchback in the back. So it's definitely something you get used to. It's not that bad, quite honestly. So I personally don't mind it. Did want to also mention the rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come with the a spec with technology so if it were to start raining or drizzling out right now it's going to automatically sense that and turn on those windshield wipers for you it's kind of like automatic headlights it's just one less thing you got to worry about there so that's pretty cool as well and there is a head-up display i'm currently looking at touching on forward visibility yet again i got the speed speed limit it also has been displaying safety features up there on my windshield as well so that again is going to assist with forward visibility so that's pretty cool but anyways that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Acura Integra. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Acura Integra finished in platinum white pearl. In case you were curious of our exterior color name, let's go ahead and start with this one is made as always. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is a one indicating that the Integra is built and assembled here in the US, specifically Ohio. In case you were curious, but that is what the one indicates. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Let's go ahead and start with my very favorite part on the Integra, which is a throwback to the DC2 Integra, which is that Integra lettering stamped in just underneath of that driver's side headlight. I love that. Just like the DC2 Integra had back in the day, it's definitely a throwback. And there's one more in the very back. So I'll be showing you guys that in a second here. But taking a look at those headlights, those are insanely nice looking headlights. They're jewel eye LED headlights coming standard for every single trim level across the board with LED daytime running lights, of course. You get the automatic feature to go along with that, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. But also automatic high beams, meaning if it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction and your high beams on it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams so it's just one less thing you don't have to worry about so that is pretty darn cool and led fog lights you guys can see them down below at the bottom there that's going to come standard on the a spec trim levels in case you were curious there so that is pretty darn cool as well i think i'm starting to see some snow flurries good grief it's cold out today but anyways you got some front air curtains at the sides of those led fog lights to the corners there helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination of course in case you were curious about the ground clearance up front there 
that is going to come in at 5.1 inches. So definitely looks like an accurate without a doubt. And once again, my very favorite part to the front end is that Integra stamped into the front bumper, just like the old school Integra. So huge fan of that. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. So now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so but now making our way to the side of this one, gloss black window surrounds do come standard. Body color, power adjustable side mirrors also coming standard, but they will also be heated for every single trim level across the board as well. So I like that. LED integrated turn signals coming with the ace bet with technology trim level and the reverse gear tilt down feature as well coming with the a spec with technology so it's going to assist you with backing up a little bit there got the a spec badging found on the front fenders of course you go with one of the a spec trim levels so i like that up there as well and then take a look down at the wheel configuration you got 17 inch silver alloys coming with the base setup but all the a spec trims are all going to get what you guys are currently looking at which is an 18 inch shark gray alloy wheel and that looks pretty darn good as well. Double five spoke design like I had on my uh, old 2003 RSX. But anyways, I like the hatchback design here. That pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so I think my favorite look on the new Integra has got to be the back end of this thing. This looks so dang good. Got the body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. You got the high mount stop lamp just to the very top of the glass there. Gloss black rear spoiler is going to come with the A-spec package. Otherwise, you're not gonna get a rear spoiler on the base setup. So did want to mention that of course you got the integra again stamped into the rear bumper just below the passenger side tail light there i absolutely love that look that looks so dang good you got led tail lights they are super bright coming standard for every single trim level across the board as well like that got the rear parking sensors you guys could see all those incorporated into the rear bumper as well lost black bottom portion to that rear bumper as well and dual exhaust outlets to the sides with chrome tips so I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the Integra, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, there is an opening found just underneath of that Acura logo, which pays homage, of course, to the past generations of the Integra, including my 03 RSX, because that's exactly where it was located. So it is a manual lift gate there. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 24.3 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. There are some tie-down anchors back there, I'm surprised to find them there's some cargo lighting of course then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you're actually going to find a little bit of in-floor storage to my surprise and there's a tire inflator kit in case you were curious about that but i like the in-floor storage you can put an ice scraper back there or something like that but anyways then making our way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 37.4 inches for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there there's a rear center armrest with cup holders that comes standard there's dual rear usb charge ports only if you go with the a spec with technology like we have today so if you got kids in the back they can stay charged up so that's pretty cool no rear ventilation though unfortunately but then make our way up to the front seats eight-way power driver seat does come standard heated front seats come standard and leatherette seating also coming standard but that a spec with technology trim that we have today is going to add to that a micro suede combination seating so it's a leather and micro suede combination there memory settings for up to two different drivers 12-way power adjustable front seat with power lumbar and then four-way power adjustable passenger seat as well and that was one of the first things i noticed obviously when i first got in this one is the seating was very comfortable so with all of the adjustments available on the integra here definitely did not have any issues finding my perfect driving position so it's always the first thing you notice when you get in the car so i like that but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping a leather wrap steering wheel actually does come standard across the board so i like that and it does come with red contrast stitching as well if you wanted a heated steering wheel that is an available option for 475 dollars and i do like the a spec lettering found in the bottom portion there as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key you got your acura logo on the one side then when you flip it over Lock, unlock the button to unlock the rear hatch there and the engine hold button that's going to be with the a spec with technology but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so 
all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver and red engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, there is a 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard. And there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right and left side of the steering wheel to help you control what is actually on those digital gauges. So tachometers on your left, those speedometers on your right. There is a digital display front and center. It's gonna tell you what drive mode you're in, obviously up on the digital portion of the gauges as well. Fuel information is all the way to your right. Engine temp all the way to the left. But again, if you didn't wanna look at the gauges, you do have a head up display projected onto your windshield there as well. But I do like the gauges. I also like how they completely change color depending upon the drive mode that you put it in. So if you put it in comfort, it's gonna be blue. If you put it in normal, it's gonna be gray. If you put it in sport, it's gonna be red. So I did like that as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. There's a power moonroof that comes standard for all trim levels across the board. Love that. Dual zone climate control coming with the A-Spec with technology. LED interior lighting for all trim levels. Auto dimming frameless. Rear view mirror coming standard for all trim levels as well. Although I don't see any home light controls, but other than that, pretty nice rear view mirror there. LED door accent lighting coming with the A-Spec with technology. Wireless phone charger goes for $300. We actually have that though. It's found just in front of the shifter here. So I do like that there. So another thing I like though is all the gloss black finishes surrounding the shifter. You do have dual cup holders behind the shifter. Little bit of storage within the center armrest. Not a ton though, but I do kind of like this carbon fiber-ish look found just around the air vents, just above the passenger side glove box. It's not real carbon fiber, obviously, but it does look good. And I like the two-toned contrast colors that we have in our particular spec here today with the black and the red theme going on. So big fan of that. And dang, those aluminum speaker covers for the ELS Studio sound system look absolutely amazing. We're gonna test that out in a second here, but first let's go ahead and check out the infotainment screen here because there's a couple of them available. So there is a seven inch color touchscreen display that comes with the base setup and the A spec, but then a nine inch color touchscreen display that comes with the A spec with technology, which is currently of course what you guys are looking at. So Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but with the nine inch screen, it's wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So that's a big difference between the trim level there so wanted to emphasize that but it's also some trip information up there of course you have your uh clock your typical honda and acura clock that you can display up there if you wanted to as well and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the sound systems there's two of them eight speaker sound system does come standard with the bass and the a spec and honestly eight speakers should be plenty fine for the size of the integra but there is a 16 speaker els studio sound system that comes with the a spec with technology that is probably 100 overkill in a vehicle the size of the integra but i am excited to try it out because that is the one that we have today so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one that sound system almost makes me want to buy the car right there that is ridiculous that is incredible that ELS sound system is incredible in the Integra. Like I said, like, okay, so I tested out the Bowers and Wilkins the other day in the Volvo S90, and that was incredible. It had almost 2,000 watts. So obviously that's gonna be great, but 16 speakers and the size of the Integra, that was an insane sound system. Okay, so clarity was 100% on point. Bass was rumbling my seat, but it wasn't too much to where it was rumbling the rear view mirror or anything like that. That was a 100% perfect sound system for the Integra without a doubt. And like I said, so good, that almost makes you want to buy the car with A-Spec with technology for that particular sound system alone. That was insane. Anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Integra in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with a couple of different views as well, if you were curious, but that is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start the very best part, the Acura Integra is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which is the very highest rating by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there. But front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. You got rear side impact airbags to go along with that. You don't always get that. You typically don't get that actually. It's a $600 option with BMW, I believe. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors, tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but 
Acura Watch Advanced Safety coming standard. And so what is that? I will answer that question for you. Collision mitigation braking system with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, road departure mitigation system, traffic jam assist, traffic sign recognition, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert as well. And then if you were to go with the A-Spec Wick technology, that is going to add one more thing, which is front and rear parking sensors. And so when it comes to my final thoughts, I now cannot get that sound system out of my head. The ELS Studio sound system is best in class without a doubt. I'm just going to say it because that was ridiculous. Love that in the Integra specifically. Amazing handling in this thing. Amazing steering feel. Another thing I did not expect when it comes to the Integra because it's more or less a compact hatch, a compact car, and it has incredible handling incredible steering feel so anyways i love that the six speed manual is available as well i think that's pretty cool because there's definitely enthusiast crowds surrounding the integra name so i like that but i have two questions for you guys though at the end of this video so feel free to put it in the comment section below do you get this or do you save a little bit of money and go with the honda civic si that's my first question second question is do you get this which again incredible car or do you wait for the Type S to come out in the summer of 2023? So there's my questions. Let me know what you guys think in the new Integra in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe with the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.